Hi everybody and welcome to Z Code System Sports Picks. Here we develop and share automated systems that will help you win consistently. And not only win consistently, it will help you win big as well. So as we get towards the end of November here, with only six weeks left in the NFL season, teams are jockeying for position for a playoff push. Uh, one team in particular that has recently struggled is the defending Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles. They got hammered last week by the Saints and they don't look anything like a team that they did last year, just a shell of the team they were before. Can they get back on track and keep their playoff hopes alive against the Giants? Well, we'll examine that game and several more for this week. So if you look here at the VIP club section, there are many great tools here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go down through some of the games for this week. So let's go down to the first one here, the Cleveland Browns at the Cincinnati Bengals. So we're taking a look at this one here. We notice here that it gives a percentage chance of winning here. The Bengals have a 57% chance of winning. And they actually come into the game as a favorite by three points. And actually, they have won the last seven meetings between the teams. And you can tell by looking down here at some of these things. If you look at the head-to-head -head tool, you will see Cincinnati, Cincinnati, Cincinnati in green. All these games, Cincinnati has won. And you can see whether or not they're the favorite or underdogs in those games. But again, they, they won all these games in a row. We can look at some of the other things here that will help us make the prediction. We look at the power ranks indicator, and you can see again that Cincinnati is well above Cleveland. Cincinnati here had a power ranking of uh, what's this, about 19, and then uh, Cleveland at four. You can see a big advantage there. And if you look in this section right here, you can see the status right now. Cleveland is ice cold up. They did win their last game. They're ice cold up. Cincinnati lost their last game to. Uh, Baltimore 24-21 to their ice cold down and you can see a bunch of other things here. Here is the uh, oscillator and then down below you can see the volatility oscillator. So what's important here is to see how stable the teams are. You can see that Cincinnati is more stable team than Cleveland at 5-2. So that means that Cincinnati is more consistently winning when favorites and losing when underdogs. So because of that and because of a bunch of other factors involved, Cincinnati has more to play for than Cleveland. Cleveland is still looking for a head coach after recently firing their former head coach. So they're kind of in a mess, even though they have won three games, which is the most they have won since 2015. But go with Cincinnati in this one. So let's go down through to another matchup that we're going to take a look at this week. It's Jacksonville versus Buffalo. Speaking of a team that's going nowhere, Jacksonville, starting off at 3-1, and one, have lost their last six. They're now at 3-7, and seven, and they had a golden chance to uh, beat the Steelers last week. Couldn't get a first down with two minutes left to play, and Steelers get the ball back and drive down for the winning score. So they are in disarray. As you see here, their status is dead. Buffalo uh, won last week with Matt Barkley as quarterback. He will not be the quarterback this week, but their ice cold up. They won their last game. If you look here at the head-to-head -head matchups between the two teams, uh, See, Jacksonville won last year, January the 7th. And you go back to uh, 2016. They're not important because that's not recent enough to really consider. If you look at the power ranks indicators here, you see that Jacksonville does have an advantage, although both teams are on a downward trend. But Jacksonville has an advantage here of 7-2. And Jacksonville does come into this game as a three-point favorite. And you see here with a 54% chance of winning the ball game. The way I look at it here is that Jacksonville will get back on the right track. Buffalo doesn't have enough offense to go against the Jacksonville defense, although Jacksonville's defense is not as strong as it was in the past. They are still quite good. So Buffalo, there's no way Buffalo can win this ball game. So let's go with uh, Jacksonville in this one. So now let's go down through to the next matchup that we're going to consider. And we're going to look at New England and the Jets. New England coming off a loss to Tennessee. They're, they are nine and a half point favored here against the Jets. You see the stats of the two teams. The Jets ice cold down. New England is burning hot down. So you can see that one loss uh, after winning so many games just changes their status slightly. But still, they are a heavy favorite. A 79% chance of winning this game against the Jets. And if you look down here at the head-to-head -head matchups, New England has dominated. If you look down through here, they've won their last four. And New England, uh, the Jets have not won since 2015 against New England. And let's look here at the volatility oscillator. You can see which teams are the most stable. You can see here, both are about equal as far as stability goes. 
uh, four to three for New England versus the Jets. So the favorite underdog stats in here should be taken a little less uh, consideration than for some games. But if you look overall, it's clear that New England has the better team, obviously. They're going to get back on track. They're going to beat the Jets. They will beat the Jets easily. I think they will cover the uh, point spread as well. Okay, so we will go down through here to the next game. This is the one we were talking about before, the Eagles. What happened to the Eagles this year? Huh, big change of personnel. Lost two coaches. The defensive secondary is shot. The list goes on and on, but they are a shell of the team that they were last year when they won the Super Bowl. They are at 4-6. and six. Can they get back into the race? Well, it's only two games out in the NFC East. Uh, if they can win their divisional games, they have a chance, and it starts on Sunday against the Giants. They have a 64% chance of winning. Their stats is ice cold down, and the Giants are average up because they have won some games lately. But uh, if you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between these two teams, the Eagles have dominated, winning the last four. If you look at some of the other things here at the Oslo area, as I said, it was ice cold down versus average up. If you look at the... Uh, Volatility oscillator here. The Eagles are one of the most unstable teams in the league at minus three. So you can't really consider the favorite underdog status too seriously with them. If you look at the Giants, they are at plus four. They are an underdog. So because they are stable and they generally lose at the underdog, that's another indication to go with the Eagles. Um, the Eagles have to get back on track. They're playing at home. They've been losing at home. I just think that they will be a lot more up for the challenge in this one and we'll take this game and probably cover the spread which is now at six points okay so now we're going to go down we're going to skip on this one here let's go down to the next game we're going to look at and that is seattle at carolina seattle had a comeback win at the end against green bay last week carolina lost to detroit after failing to convert on a two-point conversion cam newton had a man wide open missed his receiver they would have tied the game Actually, they would have gone ahead and probably have won the game. So anyway, in this one here, Carolina is home, and they are a favorite, a slim favorite, but they are a three-and-a-half point favorite, and they have a 54% chance of winning. If you look at the head-to-head -head matches between these two teams, uh, they haven't played since 2016, so that's not going to be much of a factor to look at this week. If you look at the power rankings indicator, uh, Carolina has an advantage. Again, both teams are on the downward trend, though, but Carolina has an advantage at plus 20 to uh, plus 13. If you look at uh, its status here, average and average down, because both teams haven't been hot lately, so that makes complete sense. So what I'm looking at here is Carolina at home. Both teams are very similar. They're going to rely on their quarterbacks to do most of the damage. I think Carolina is the overall better team, and they will win this one and cover. So let's go down through here, and the only other game we're going to look at here is the Steelers at the Broncos. That's the last game we're going to look at here. So we got the Steelers and the Broncos. The Steelers are probably the hottest team in football. Well, maybe next to uh, the Saints, but they are burning hot, and they just came off a win against Jacksonville. And Denver is ice cold up. They did come off a win, but Pittsburgh clearly is the better team here, and they come in as a road favorite at three and a half point favorite and they have a 64 percent chance of winning the ball game as you see right here and if you look at head to head let's see what happened with these two teams recently well they haven't played recently the last meeting was on january of uh, 2016. uh let's see what else we got here the volatility oscillator let's see the, as stability goes denver is a lot more stable unit than the steelers at five to one which means they're Winning more consistently as favorites and losing more consistently as underdogs. They are the underdogs here. So that's even more of a reason to go for the Steelers in this one. The Steelers are just too hot. Even though Denver uh, plays well at home in general, the Steelers will win this game and cover as well. So you can see those are all the games here. Now, for those of you who are not really into the, uh, the numbers as much, there are other things you can do here. You can check out the Z code automated systems for some no brainer picks. And that's what I'm going to do right here. So if you see here the, the systems here for past performances, what you have to do is you just look down here. You can see overall the top 100 systems past performance as far as profit earned. 
and here's a profit chart you can just look over this thing here and it's really a good tool you can select the sport here all sports we're going to go down to uh nfl right here and then it shows what profit time last three months or top profit you can choose your pick here top profit best profit chart etc you can go for the last three months you can go for the whole season you can go like here 2018 let's go for the whole season we can pick one of these take a look at them and see what we got here so you see here uh best profit systems right here you have to play around with the tool here so you get a better idea what you need to do as far as uh getting the best picks but here we go here's a nfl underdog select enter nfl super select dog so anything with nfl here is what you want to look at on these systems so that's what you have to do on there and that's really the best thing i can say for you on this so really um if you're not already a member here you can see there's all kinds of different uh things you can get if you are a member here you can uh make a profit very easily so i think you should join up start winning some of these bets don't just play for fun play for money right you can earn some money here on this site and with these great picks and i think you will do very well okay so that's it for this week have a good week watching the ball games hope you win some money see you next week